Hey guys, welcome to Street Fighter Duel. Now, for this one, we're going to do a reroll guide and a tier list in one. Now, I haven't played the Taiwanese version of this game, which has been out for a fair while. Uh, what I've done is I've grabbed like three tier lists that I've seen from around the joint. I'm just going to collate them together and show you guys what I'm doing with my rerolls and what I look for. Uh, and then we'll go through the reroll process. Obviously, quickly, if you don't know what this game is, it's basically an AFK Arena clone idle game with the Street Fighter IP. However, the combat is much different. The combat's pretty cool for an idle game, honestly, compared to other idle games, but all the core mechanics is just AFK Arena, fairly similar to Eversoul as well, so if you've played either of those, you'll feel pretty at home. I don't know how long I'm going to play this game, but I always just like idle games. I find them chill, fun, and it's a different IP. It's not just anime waifus, so I'm cool with that. I wasn't ever a massive Street Fighter guy, but hey, let's get into the point of the video, which is the rerolls. Now, the first thing I want to go through is the reroll process. You have guest and Google login. Now, this is a multi-server game, so you can just log in with your Google if you want and then go to the next, like, then in the game, I'll show you in the menu later on. You can go uh, select server. You can go to a different server if you don't like your role. There's already like 15 servers out for the game uh, and we're in day one. So you can roll through like that if you want. Now... The other way you can do it is to log in with Guest. Uh, I'm doing this with Bluestacks. Link in the description if you want to download the game through Bluestacks. Uh, but basically, what I'm do what I did is I installed the game. Uh, I, I started a fresh instance, went into the Google Play. Uh, and downloaded the game, but didn't open it. Then I closed that instance and I've called that um, SFD base. And that's my base one. I never opened that again. And now I just clone that um, to go in and do a reroll. And then I can do that. That's how you do it if you want to do the guest. Honestly, I just did that to test it. I'm probably just going to log in uh, as guest, go through all the different servers. Uh, and then if I don't get anything that I like, I'll just log in with a Google account. I've got like 15 Google accounts and I'll just go through servers on Google accounts. But those are the two options you have. You can do it this way with the Bluestacks uh, multi-instance if you want. But once again, it's probably easier just to make a new Google account and log through all the different servers because there's just there's that many coming out. There's like 15 already. So feel free to do it whichever way you want. I'm just going to log in with Guest for this one to have a look. Uh, and basically what we're doing here is the, the, the tutorial is incredibly basic. It's literally just AFK Arena tutorial. Um, and... If you haven't played, don't worry. It's very, it's very basic. You hit the skip button. Uh, you select your fighter. I was like, Ryu, I do again. And, uh, and then you just go through. So that's pretty much it. You follow the tutorial until you finish the first chapter. There is a one battle in there that's like a forced loss that makes you lose so that you can upgrade your characters. But it's pretty basic. There's nothing I need to show you guys. So I'm going to come back when we finish the first chapter. Okay, there we go. So we finished the, the first uh, chapter. So we're going to get that. We're going to go over to draw. This is forced tutorial. Now, this one, I've gotten poison five times in a row from this um and then i got one other character i can't remember her name once so i don't know if this is like a limited pool or not um but this is going to be the summon i bet you i get poison again she's the only one i ever get yeah that's poison isn't it go yeah so poison so i don't it's not guaranteed to be her because i did get someone else once but that's six times in uh six times now that i've gone no, is that six times I got her? I don't know. But I've gotten her every time except for one. But she's actually pretty decent. So if you get her, cool. If you get something else, you know, just keep doing your other roles and see how you go anyway. But we're just going to hit confirm there. We're going to go back out. It is going to take us through this stuff. You can't bounce out of this stuff. So we're going to have to go ahead and promote um, poison a bit and get her done to a satisfactory level. Sweet. Skills. Check it out. Uh, unfortunately, like this is just what you're going to have to do. Like I said, it's not only poison, but she's pretty decent uh, from what I've seen on tier list. Like I said, I haven't played the game. Uh, so that's what we're looking at. Uh, we can go over here. We can go to the next chapter. And I think we got to do one stage in the next chapter. Uh, I've been trying several times to like click out to fast exit it, but I haven't been able to yet. So we can do that. I've even tried here, but it does force you into this stage. So we're just going to clap this stage. It's going to be quick and easy anyway. Not too stressed about it. So let's just use poison skill. Once we get up there, boom. And stuff dies. Happy days. So that's poison. <laughs> Job done. Now, we. this is, I believe, where we get detached from the stuff. We get tasks. We get everything else. Now, at base, you can go to the main screen. We can go to the mail and we can collect these pre-registration rewards. Um, and now this thing, as you can see, you can get these characters from it. From what I've seen on the tier list, uh, it's basically this dude here uh, and 
her are probably my two favorite options. She's a supportive, uh, she's a supportive unit, so I actually don't mind her. He's just meant to be a good damage dealer. Like I said, I'm not too sure entirely, but those are the two main ones that I would be looking for personally. Like I said, completely uneducated though. Just take this with a massive grain of salt. If you have a favorite character, go for that because having fun is the most important thing. But then we can go to our bag. We can go ahead and pop that one instantly and see what we get. Use that. Pop, done. Uh, and we got her. She actually looks pretty cool. A little bit of a Ms. Marvel type vibe. I'm not a massive Street Fighter person. More, I was more of a Mortal Kombat growing up. So take keep that in mind. Um, but basically, we can actually get a bunch more rewards if you want to do summons. It's just a matter of if you think it's worth your time. So I'll just go through the general stuff. It's basically just follow the red dots and you can get a bunch of rewards. So I'll just show you this quickly. Uh, we can go through there. Uh, done. And then we can go to this online roulette. And because we just started the account, you can see you get one spin. Maybe you get lucky and get the 500. Maybe you don't, but who cares? You can do that if you want. We've got login rewards. So we've got 300 there. We've got total sign-ins, which we can't do yet. This one, you just go share. Uh, and then I just hit this and it's going to open up this thing in blue stacks. Give me any puzzle piece. Uh, we just click on a, uh, a puzzle. And this normally gives you 550 straight up, which is sick as well. And I don't think I can get anything from that one. Uh, next up, we can go over to the missions. Uh, we've got dailies and, and stuff like that. We don't get anything out of the dailies yet because we haven't done enough, but you can collect these ones the ones with the gems as you can see there's those ones and this one that give gems these ones just give some uh basically cash and experience if you want to collect them but you don't really need to um and then past that we don't go into first purchase because that doesn't really matter but we can go into the seven day growth and we get another 50 gems or so from here um, and we can get that. Then we can bounce out of that. And that's most of the things we're going to get. So we've got another 2,300 gems. It's not enough for a 10 pool. Now, this one I don't recommend doing, but you can. It's just a bit tedious. You can go to the bio of every character you've received. Uh, you can do this. Uh, but, you know, basically from the summons we've already built up from there, you should be able to find out if you're going to get something decent. Uh, whoops, don't go to trial. Uh, we can do that. And then as you go into the next rarity of heroes, they only give 30 each. Uh, and then these ones give 20 each. So you can get a few extra summons it's just too tedious for me to do but you can do that if you want now we can go back over to draw unfortunate thing is we end up with nine summons so we actually have to do everything as singles which you know kind of sucks maybe i could get to 2700 if i did the characters which you know what, let's just check um and, and that depends on rng as well so we've got 30 60 90 no we're not going to be able to do it anyway so we don't have enough but you know rng it's the thing uh, so let's just go to draw and now we're just going to do it all as singles. So we're going to get like, what, like 17 singles or something like that. Uh, but once you do the first summon, you can do, do the next summon inside it. Uh, so there we go. There's our next one. So now we're going to draw again and you can just skip and it's not too slow. It's not, it's not quick, but it's not too slow that it's tedious. Oh, here we go. Okay. Triple S unit. There we go. Yun. Not one of the ones I'm looking for. Back to backs. So okay. Not too bad. <laughs> it's decent. I think he's pretty average too from what I've seen. So... <laughs> Good rates, but uh, horrible units. This is the way this is. Draw again. Let's see. Nothing. Uh, a sh wait, wait. Did she? Yeah, that, that's 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 a dupe of my uh, Captain America chick, wasn't it? I'm skipping this stuff too hard. Oh, if you've already got the character, you don't get the animation. That's why. So there we go. Let's skip. Oh, another one, dude. Not too bad on these pulls. I said, it's a bit frustrating that you got to do singles. Uh, and now, now we're into gems as well. So it's less efficient doing gems like gem summons like this as well, because they cost 300 as opposed to a 10 pool being 2,700. But if you're going to re-roll anyway, it doesn't really. If you, if you don't like your re-roll uh, and you want to just bounce out and, and re reset, like I said, you can go over here, you can go to select server and you can select a different server to roll on. Um, and like, I think there was 12 earlier. I don't know why it's back down to 10, but yeah, you can choose a different server to go ahead and roll on. Or like I said, you can log into a different Google account, or you can go with the blue stacks method that I mentioned at the start by cloning that original instance and, you know, starting again as a guest. It's completely up to you guys. But um, like I said, I'm probably just going to go through all the different servers on this one. And then if I don't get anything I like, I'll jump onto another Google account and away we go matter when we look at who to reroll for now these units at the top here the first four units they're basically your celestials hypergenes out of um afk arena they're going to be harder to get they're going to be good in the very very early game but then you'll struggle for dupes and then they'll fall off is essentially how i see them going but if you do get a ton of dupes which they're low drop rates you know grats um these guys can sub in for any of the factions for your faction bonuses uh, and these guys have their own bonuses the more of them you take at base you get a defense buff anyway but let's jump over let's take a look at some of the tier lists i found 
and just have, have a look at what I've been looking at. So what I might do is I might, might move my fat head over here just for a minute so that we can uh, have a look here. So basically I just been looking at, th there's a few I've looked through. Um, there's this one as well, which goes through a bit more of a list. And I've basically just been bouncing between these two. And I I'm just like, I'm happy if I get a few from A and S between either of these. Cause I'll, the these two lists, for instance, have a bit of discrepancy between their A and S. Like this one's A's are highly in this one's S and swapped around and stuff like that. So basically these two top tiers of this one is basically basically what I'm looking at. So, you know, I'll leave a link to these tier lists in the description so you can have a look as well. But basically, visually, what I'll show you what I'm looking for essentially is, like I said, these top four units, they're pretty solid um, in general. Like, but once again, I think they will fall off because I don't think you'll get the dupes that you need. Um, she's pretty good. She's also the first purchase uh, one, I think. So, you know, she's not she's not horrible, uh, but she's okay. Let's check what, what was her name again? Uh, Chun Li. So let's go ahead here. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, she's S on this one uh, and she'll be A on this one. Oh no, she, she doesn't even get there. So she goes B on this one. So this is why I said, a lot of the tier lists I'm seeing are very scattered. So, you know, take it with a massive grain of salt. If you like a character, go nuts. Um, but besides that, um, like I said, Poison's pretty solid. Uh, this dude's pretty solid. Uh, she seems like a solid support unit. Um, and that, those are the main ones I'm really looking for besides the um, the Celestial Hypergenes up there, whatever they're calling them. But, you know, take your pick, have a look at the tier list, just do some rolls, finish your account and take a look at the tier list, see where they fall. If they're a bunch of D units, probably re-roll. If not, go nuts. Keep in mind, this is an AFK arena style game. So you're going to need a ton, a ton of dupes. So it's not the end of the world if you don't get a great re-roll. But anyway, guys, that is going to be for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.